Hi, this is Juan from WantTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the Living Environment Regions for January 2017. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregions.org and down here you click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get to work. Here's problem 11. Which statement best describes how a new human trait develops and can be passed on to future generations? Okay, in one, a mutation in the, a stomach cell results in the inability of a woman to produce a certain digestive enzyme. Okay. Uh, two, a mother consumes alcohol during pregnancy, causing a fetus to have low birth weight. Um, C, uh, three, during meiosis, a new combination of DNA subunits is formed, okay? Or during mitosis, DNA does not divide correctly and the cell, cells die. Okay, try this problem on your own. Always guess before you, you watch the rest of the video uh, and see if you get the same answer as we do. If you do, hit the like button to let us know that you did. Uh, so let's see if we can figure this one out. So this, this, which statement best describes, always looking for best, how a new human trait, new human trait develops and can be passed on to future generations. So let's see. Um, where must a trait be developed that can be passed on to future generations? If I uh, a, a muta um, one a mutation in the stomach cells, let's see, uh, resulting in an inability of a woman to produce a certain digestive enzyme, uh, that is an, uh, a mutation in a stomach cell that uh, affects the woman, but there's no way for that information to get to her egg cells. So um, there, that's definitely not it. There's no way to pass that mutation down to, to uh, your offspring. In fact, all mutations, uh, mutations uh, that that can that can be passed down, be passed down. Mutations that can be passed down uh, must occur in the gametes. Mutations can be passed down if they occur in uh, in the in the uh, reproductive organs okay uh, testes and and that's specifically the testes and ovaries okay testes and ovaries um, and uh, the thing, and the, now the thing about the uh, testes, the testes are constantly producing sperm. So uh, that mutation can be passed on if the, if it occurs at really at any point. For females, they they actually produce their egg cells before they're born. So that mutation would have to occur before uh, the 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 girl is born. But that then those mutations can be passed down. But if it if the mutation occurs in the stomach, in the brain, in the heart, in the lung, anywhere other than those places, the mutations cannot uh, be passed down. So the second one, a mother consumes alcohol during pregnancy, causing a fetus to have a low birth weight. This did not discuss new traits. That's surely a an unhealthy. Uh, thing to to be a, have a, to have a low birth weight uh, due to alcohol consumption uh, uh, before birth, right? But that's not a new trait uh, because that that child can go on to to be tall later on. Uh, that that's not something that uh, can be passed down. So the the third one uh, during meiosis, a new combination of DNA subunits is formed. That's a mutation. And here, meiosis, meiosis is uh, the splitting of cells in the gametes, okay? Gametes are, are the sperm cells and the egg cells. Uh, so specifically, those are specifically the cells that get combined to pass down and produce, to pass uh, down genetic information to offspring. So if that mutation occurs in gametes, that can be passed down. 
the second one, during mitosis, DNA does not divide correctly and the cells die. Well, then if the cells die, they don't get passed down. Right? Get passed down. Okay? So that's not it. So definitely the answer is, is oops. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I just I got confused here. Ho hopefully you guys caught that I said that this is not the answer and I somehow uh, circled number one. I'm not going to redo the video just because I circled that. So look, it's not number one. Anyway, uh, if you're watching this video from the channel, uh, from our channel, thanks uh, for watching. The next video will start right away. Uh, if you're not, go to our channel, uh, subscribe, and then go to the January 2017 Living Environment Region section, and you can watch the videos all in sequence. All right? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for that next video starting now.